Good morning. It's 5.38 a.m. on a June 21st, 2017. It's Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. It's definitely, definitely feeling as though it's a hump day. Um, so I'm back on the iPhone because I have like 9,000 gigabytes of full hard drives on my computer and I didn't want to add to that or add to my editing workload. But I did want to share this, which is like something that if I would have been able to just find, um, it would have saved me well, three hours of trying to figure it out. So, um, basically I reorganized all of the filing for the trip video. Um, before I had it like relatively sort of almost in like ballpark in the right place, but uh, pretty much like 20% of it was just mixed throughout the random days, like in the wrong places, like the wrong weeks. Um, so I went through, took like a six hour day and organized everything and then made like a little physical guide so I don't have to try and remember. I can just like look down and be like, oh, that's what day that footage is in. The problem was though, when I went back into Premiere, what I had already edited was linked to the master file, which was England Besh, and uh, that had been imported on its own. And when I imported that, it structured all the files within it as they had been in the first iteration of uh, that file. So making the new one obviously didn't transfer into Premiere into the project. So I was left with like just a bunch of offline files and um, literally no improvement of organization because it was all exactly the same. Uh, so rather than manually go fix all of that, I tried to figure out a way to relink them or reassign these files, but I was running into a ton of glitches. Like if I went to the same clip in the newly imported duplicate that was more organized and replace it with that duplicate, it would pick some random point in the video and not be anywhere near where it was supposed to be. So that wasn't really an option. I tried like offlining them all and then reassigning stuff and that didn't work. I tried um, actually the, the opposite of what I've done that worked. I tried first and that did not work, which I thought was going to. But basically, uh, the first problem is that I couldn't figure out a way to get duplicates into the project anyway. Like I imported um, the entire folder again thinking if the duplicates are there, it's not going to be intensive because it already has all the files. Uh, but the actual reason why it didn't take long is because it didn't import any of the duplicates. So I was like, okay, great. I can understand how that would be useful to a lot of people, but there has to be a way to turn it off. And I looked and I couldn't really find any way to allow duplicates from importing the folder because apparently all you have to do is import the folder and like not put it next to the one that has the duplicate. It's, it's really weird. But what I ended up doing was making a whole new project file, importing all those clips into the project file using it as like sort of a null, and then importing that project into the original project file, allowing duplicates so all the clips would come in. But then once that happened, I couldn't do anything with the duplicates because replacing them was glitching out and you can't reassign them really with any amount of ease. So what I ended up doing was I went to this, um, the, the null project that I created and I just sort of imported the opposite direction. I imported, um, ooh, my computer is not happy with me all of this. After all of this, I'm really tired. It's, did I mention it's 5.42 in the morning? And it's still last night for me. So, uh, anyway, what I did was I imported the main file into the, um, the, like, dummy file, which was this one. And when I did that, I, uh, instead of importing the entire folder, or the entire project, I imported select sequences, and then just selected every sequence. So what that does is, um, oh yeah, and then you don't allow for duplicates. So what that does is you get all your sequences, which gets all of the clips that you used in anything in the project without any of the other clips. And if you don't allow duplicates, it automatically reassigns them to any existing clip in the new project. 
Which means now, if I go to the 9th of May, all the clips that are in there are actually in there. And if I go to the 19th of May, then, oh, I need to, hang on. Wait, yeah, that works. Uh, and then if I go to the 19th of May, I get all of these clips so I was trying to reassign earlier are now actually linked to the duplicates that I was trying to get them linked to in the first place. So now I have a cleaner, much more easy to navigate project. I'm just gonna rename this one and start using this as the main project file. And yeah, that was a stressful experience, but um, figured it out with only a little bit of assistance. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's actually a really easy solution. It's just not like, it doesn't feel right. Like it doesn't feel proper, but it's, it's what works. So hope that helped anyone that's having the same problem. Um, yeah, it's just really kind of counterintuitive, but if you need to completely revamp all of the folders that you've imported into a project, make a new project, import the new folder with the revised organization into that new blank project, then import your other project, select sequences, select all the sequences, do not allow for duplicates, and that will automatically transfer everything over and link it to the appropriate videos that are in the new project. So you get a fresh start. Um, but you do end up working off of the new project file. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that saves some people some heartache. I am going to get on this trip video and I will see you when I see you. So hopefully my phone allows this to be uploaded to YouTube. Hasta la bye bye.